all, this is Stephen, and today I'm going to be discussing uh, redworm composting and also traditional uh, pile composting as well. Let's uh, go see what we have here. This is a little view of my backyard here, just so everyone gets an idea of uh, my home here. Beautiful uh, view of the mountain in the background here. Over here as well. I wanted to introduce everyone back home, my uh, my new chickens. You'll see them over here. I just had four babies. These are nice organic chickens. Uh, let's go see how they're doing. Hello, Bob. There's Mom. The babies are getting quite bigger now, too. Okay, over to the compost. Okay, here are the two compost bins I was talking about. Now, traditionally, these are used as water type of reservoirs here in Thailand, but they're great for the worms, and they're very inexpensive as well. I think it was like 15 U.S. dollars for both of these. So let's go ahead and remove the lid on one of them here. Okay. And here you will see... Uh, for my recent pictures online that I put up before was about was day one from the project, and this has been about five days. And as you can see, I would say about 50% of the the vegetable waste has been consumed already, and into the castings as well. Now, right now, I can't see too many of the worms. There's one right there on top of the soil. Um, the red worms are famous for uh, staying mostly on top of the soil. And we're going to go ahead and get a glimpse of the other one as well. Okay, now this is the other one. And in this composting bin, you'll see a lot more of the worms. As I get in a little bit closer, you can see them right now. And it's almost as if they make a little bit of a sound while they're eating, just like humans. And you'll see them all over here also with some ants and other insects as well. Um, this side looks like about about 50% of the vegetables have been consumed already. Now, in this mix, you'll have a mix of vegetable waste. Uh, there's some organic uh, goat dung, and as well as just regular topsoil from uh, my backyard actually put in here as well. So this should be ready. Um, now, within a couple of days, what we'll do is we'll move the waste over to the set to one side of the bin, and then we'll start putting more vegetables on the other side. Well, I hope everybody enjoyed my red worm composting video. I'm going to keep putting some more updates as well. I put some more information on the website. And I wanted to tell everybody the thought for today. And the thought for today is that doing healthy projects like this, organic farming, um, it doesn't have to be boring. It can be fun. And a lot of videos I see, everything else online, you know, it's like healthy stuff can tend to be boring or something. I want to let everybody know that we can make it interesting, you can make it a good time, and, um, you know, you can still kick ass and be healthy. That's, that's the thought for today. Have a good one. Bye.